During the recent AFC Challenge Cup in Nepal, we took the opportunity to spend a little time with two of the stars of the Philippines side, the brothers James and Phil Young Husband. Phil was the tournament's top scorer as the Azcals finished third, another impressive showing for a national team whose results have improved immensely over the past few years. Born and raised in the UK to an English father and a Filipina mother, the young husband brother spent 10 years in the youth setup at Chelsea, but never quite made the first team grade. However, it was while they were still with the Premier League club that the possibility of representing the Philippines first arose, thanks in part to a well-known computer game. Uh, apparently uh, a kid from the Philippines discovered uh, that me and Phil were eligible because we had Filipino blood. He discovered that on the game we could play for the Philippines, so he immediately contacted the Philippine Football Federation and recommended us and said we're at Chelsea Football Club, should give him a call. And apparently he, they contacted them and then we're playing for the Philippines now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, met, I met the, the alleged gamer in, um, in Bacolod in, in the Philippines. And um, yeah, they, he found out we had Filipino blood through football manager. He contacted um, the PFF. The PFF contacted Chelsea and then we were brought into a meeting and um, discussed whether we were interested in, in representing the Philippines. And um, we, we went home and told our mum and then uh, we made the decision there. She got really excited. <laughs> Football is currently experiencing a real boom in the Philippines. A new league launched in 2009 is thriving and the success of the national team has brought the beautiful game back into a sporting consciousness that's been dominated recently by boxing and basketball. Midfielder James and striker Phil have been based there full time for a few years now, and their involvement in football goes well beyond just turning out for the Azcals. Because there's more interest in the sport, there's a lot more kids who, and parents who want to get involved and uh, be a part of football. So. One of the things me and my brother have done, we've set up our own football academy, like the Young Husband Football Academy, and we've teamed up with our club team back in the Philippines, uh, Leola Morocco Sports, and when we're not playing football for, uh, for our teams, we're actually coaching kids. It's great to work with kids. It's, it's a different satisfaction to playing. As James says, we know it won't, it won't happen overnight, and for football to develop, we need to focus on the youngsters. Whether they become football players in the future, we don't know, but they can, if they become businessmen, they, because they played football, they'll support football. But it is, it is very re rewarding, and it's, um, it's, it's something we, we enjoy and something we want to continue. Over the past four years, the Philippines have made a steady climb up the FIFA ranking and impressed in several regional tournaments. Many of the squad, like the young husbands, are of mixed heritage, spending their early years and learning their trade in the game elsewhere. But this recent success to continue, producing more truly homegrown talent is imperative. Now people see a future in football. Before, without the league, there was no future in football, but now kids Parents, they see, they see. Oh, my kids can be potential future football stars, and then, and that's great. And um, I mean, our academy, we used to have 60 kids training, and now we, now we have in the summer camp, we have like 400 kids. So, so the interest has grown, and um, we know that we can't, we can't rely on this, the situation at the moment, and uh, we need local, local talent. If we get more people on board in the Philippines, like it, especially if we get the government involved in building facilities for kids to train on, for parks for them to kick around, really, rather than building condominiums. But um, I think that can really help develop the sport. And if we develop the football locally, uh, with, so there's football regular, and people learn more about the sport, learn more about the rules, then there'll be more interest, and then the government will get behind the sport. The brothers are in their mid-twenties and both have many more years ahead of them in their playing careers. So hopes are high that they can lead the Azcals to further success in the near future. But it's perhaps the brothers' work off the field that will leave an even greater legacy for football in the Philippines. It's been fantastic, really. Um, it's, uh, from our Twitter messages, it's great, it's great support, really. They're always encouraging, um, even when we have... Uh, downs in our careers with the team, um, there's, there's messages of support really and uh, everyone's learning football really and everyone's getting a better understanding and uh, it's great that uh, we can do that. Yeah, I mean the majority of the Philippines uh, are behind us and they're uh, supporting us and um, the reaction's been amazing, um, especially those and a lot of those um, are new, very new to football so 
we want to, to uh, use this chance to, to educate them about football and and um, let them know what, what can be done in football. And I mean, the sky's the limit at the moment. There's so much can, that can be done in football. Um, other countries, they're so developed, it's very hard to make have an influence in football. But um, in the Philippines, we feel we can make a big difference and have a big influence on, on the football there.